Sure, why not? Mortal Kombat 11 got announced at the 2011 Game Awards with the usual big dumb CGI trailer. I'll give them credit that this trailer does tell us some stuff about the actual game instead of just being yet another Scorpion vs Sub-Zero fight ending in Sub-Zero's gory death. The trailer is set in Shang Tsung's courtyard from MK1 where all the monks and guards are dead. We then see Dark Raiden bringing over his red lightning from his Injustice 2 palettes fighting Scorpion whose new design is only marginally better than his MKX one. It's still bad, come on. Scorpion, shockingly, no pun intended, gets his ship pushed in and head exploded by Raiden, only for what appears to be UMK3 or Armageddon Scorpion to show up and kill Raiden. We then see a mysterious woman in front of an hourglass. So obviously, this woman, likely an Elder God, will play a key role in a story about multiple universes or timelines, most likely with the original timeline coming back, and probably have both merged at the end to take the best of both universes because they have no idea what the fuck they're doing anymore. Then they ruin the hype by an announcing Shao Kahn as the pre-ordered DLC. Neither Goro nor Darkseid played a part in their respective game story. This is a problem as Shao Kahn is the only confirmed survivor in the original timeline, meaning the potential for God Khan to show up is pretty much nil unless that's a corrupted Shinnok-esque non-playable final boss with his normal form being relegated to DLC and cutscenes. If we really are going to have both timelines crossing over then I guess I was right when I outlined how MK and Injustice have the same bloody plot. I think Netherrealm is in desperate need of new writing talent to get things on track if this is what we can expect. I mean, why even bother making two different series? Just make MK vs DCU sequels forever if you want to tell one story that's about parallel universes and edgy dark takes on established characters. As for my predictions, we'll likely get to see how the MKX newcomers like Eren and Devorah would have turned out in the old timeline, and there'll probably be two versions of every playable character in the game, even if just as a costume, a la Injustice 1 Green Arrow. We'll have Purified Raiden vs Corrupted Raiden and Spirit Liu Kang vs Revenant Liu Kang for sure, probably Scorpion vs Hanzo and Sub-Zero vs Sub-Zero as well. We're also likely to get altered versions of classic stages set in the original timeline years after Khan's victory like the courtyard here. But I worry about this plot either interrupting the drama with the Revenants or having to share valuable screen time with it. Both plots have potential but I don't want to see them crammed together like the Outworld and Netherrealm plotlines were last time, nor the Revenants abruptly wrapped up at the start of the game like MK4 was in MKX. I guess this is further proof that the Revenant stuff should have been resolved last time to make way for something else. I also worry both Scorpions will get their own dedicated chapters like the Batman did because creaming fanboy pants is the number one priority of WB Productions these days. Overall, I came away from this trailer feeling worried. I think there is zero chance of a satisfying story if we're getting both of these plotlines together, as the Netherrealm writing staff have proven incapable of delivering even when they're telling a single linear story, let alone when they're telling two stories in one. And the idea that the old timeline wasn't simply overwritten after it was ruined, meaning the original timeline still exists in its destroyed state, somehow makes me feel like the old series I loved is being shat on more because the new timeline characters are separate, distinct versions of those characters, and not the same people given a second chance, you know? The old versions all failed and died and they may never get a chance to fix it. Hopefully this is not the case, but it really looks like it will be. God, I really need to finish that MK2011 reimagining project I started a few years ago before people accused me of ripping off the official Elder Goddess of Time idea. 